Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today you're gonna be spending 24 hours in Memphis with me. Now off to my first stop of the day, Sunrise Memphis for a quick breakfast. The restaurant was really cute and quaint and my breakfast was okay. I got a standard breakfast that included bacon, eggs, grits and all of that, but the biscuit was by far the best thing I had there. So if you're gonna go, I definitely recommend getting a biscuit sandwich or anything that has to do with the biscuit because that was the best thing that I had there. So if you're looking for a cute spot to go ahead and grab breakfast, then I would recommend this place. After breakfast, we did a little bit of riding in downtown Memphis and I wanted to leave this part in the video because I just felt like the vibes were really, really cool and the breeze was hitting and it was just a really nice day out. So I wanted to show you guys what the downtown area looked like as well. Coming up next was my second stop of the day, the National Civil Rights Museum at the Lorraine Hotel. And you guys, this was just the best part of my trip. Being able to see the history of our people, see the place where MLK died, it was just like completely incredible and words can't really describe how much I enjoyed it. Now, there were a few restrictions, so I wasn't able to get that much footage on the inside, but I will include a couple pictures that you guys will see. And if you're coming here, just be sure to note that COVID restrictions are like well enforced, like you have to wear your mask, social distance and all of that. But you guys, if you're coming to Memphis, you most definitely have to come here. Up next was the third stop of the day, which was lunch at Soul Fish Cafe. The restaurant was super cute and the little cups that had their logo on it was just so cute and it made me feel like the restaurant was full of southern hospitality. We ended up getting fried pickles for an appetizer which I wasn't really a fan of but then I ended up sharing a oyster po' boy with my sister and the oysters were really great as well as the fries and the greens. So if you're gonna go there I would recommend getting the oysters, fries, and greens and you will be all set. time to take a ride on the trolley since this was our first time getting on the trolley in memphis we ended up chatting it up with a guy that was also waiting at the stop and he let us know that he had never been on it before as well so if you're in memphis for the first time and you don't really know how to ride the trolley system or just have any questions the people around you are nine times out of ten going to be more than happy to answer any questions you have so just go ahead and ask them As you can see in this clip, my hair has expanded and I just wanted to tell you guys that if you're coming to Memphis anytime in the summer, just be prepared for it to be a little hot and humid. So yeah. Now all about pricing. To ride the trolley one way, I believe it's a dollar and for an all day pass, it's $2. We just went ahead and paid the $1 because we were just gonna ride it really quickly and then head down to Bill Street. But if you're gonna be in Memphis all day long, I would recommend maybe getting the all day pass for $2 because it really is a good deal. Just a couple more things to note about the trolley. The ride was pretty calm, but we did have to stop at pretty much every street light. So be prepared to wait a little bit if you're gonna ride it. Also, after riding down about a street or two, I noticed that there wasn't really that much to see. So that's also another thing to note if you're thinking about taking the trolley. Okay, 
y'all. So up next is the fifth stop, which is the chicken coop. The food here was great, but the customer service was not so great. So I'm kind of torn on recommending this to you guys. The food was really good, and if you're willing to forego having great customer service, I would say go ahead and go. But if you're big on customer service, this may want to be a place that you skip. But if you go, definitely try the honey gold wings and the fried green tomatoes. They were amazing. Okay, y'all, so we've made it to the last stop of the day, which is Beale Street. I was excited to finally get downtown and just see what it was about. And I noticed that a lot of people weren't wearing a mask. So I kind of, you know, had a little bit of pause or hesitation. But just a note to anybody going to Bill Street that does like to wear a mask, maybe double mask up because there may be people down there that are not going to wear a mask. So, you know, protect yourself. And also, Bill Street was not very long or there wasn't a whole lot to Bill Street. So honestly, you can probably walk it within 30 minutes and pretty much see everything as well. I want to thank y'all so much for watching and be sure to be on the lookout for my Nashville video that will be uploaded next week and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.